There is a scourge sweeping through business. The scourge will drain your energy, exhaust you, and make you question your variability. The scourge is the Karen client. Do you have a Karen client? The first step is diagnosing it. Queen Karens are entitled. They believe they can treat you as a lapdog and that you are their bitch because don't you know who they are? And they are allergic to the words, thank you. The kindergarten Karen is the child Karen who won't make a decision about their own business. They leave everything to you. And then they have a tantrum when you either won't do everything or tolerate their childish behavior. The victim Karen. The victim Karen believes you are constantly attempting to screw her over. They also believe they should get special treatment because they have trauma in their past. Mommy dearest Karen. These are the meltdown Karens of wildly inappropriate behavior. They believe giving you feedback is telling you how stupid you are or how fucking dumb your creative work is. The bipolar Karen. Bipolar Karens love you one moment and hate you the next. You never know where you stand with a bipolar Karen. And finally, we have the high roller Karen. They are too busy pretending to live the high life and not paying attention to their business or your work. When things fall apart, high rollers blame and shame you, their agency or creator. These are the Karen client profiles. And yes, a Karen can be a man. Which of these profiles is in your clients? Now, if you have a Karen, there is still help. The first thing, friend, is if you have a Karen in your business to set very strong boundaries. Unfortunately, we sometimes do let Karens in our business. I try not to allow any more Karens and I say, thank you very much, we are not for you. But if you do have a Karen, one, set very strong boundaries and expectations. Two, document the shit out of everything that you do so that when your Karen has a meltdown or comes back to blame you, you can point to them the multiple emails they did not respond to or the variety of strategy you presented to them and they did not make a decision on or how they delegated things to the staff member who doesn't speak English. Document, my friends. And finally, the third thing to do when dealing with a Karen is not take that shit personally. Karens, again, are entitled, not aware, and often just kind of jerk face clients. Fortunately, the world is full of amazing people and amazing clients. I hope you release yourself from the bonds of bad clients and Karens who don't deserve your time, talent, or energy. And to learn more about human behavior, how to navigate challenging personalities, or just get rid of them, period, in your business, check out bethemusthave.com backslash holy shit. See you soon.